that's exactly what it was. I was physically moving, I was mentally moving in various directions. It just felt like everything was coming from everywhere and there was always still this glow in my in my life that I was moving towards and it's not always clear but when when you get that sense and you're just pulled towards it, you just follow it. And that that's what travel glow is to me. Main man Sebastian right here. Getting ready. How you feel, old ass? <clears throat> Feeling pretty good. It's, drum tones are sounding awesome. Super pumped. Greg and I had a lot of ideas and we fleshed them out and then we just naturally came together on this album, Travel Glow. There is always, I think, a little bit of uncertainty when you enter into a studio, when you enter into a show for the first time. What's gonna happen and how are we gonna achieve this goal. This album, I think we tried to push ourselves a lot more, listening to other people's music and playing with other artists that really influence us. The creative process had more influences from a lot of, I would say, maybe more math rock bands that we've been listening to over time, bands like Invalids, Kavit, Vasudeva, um, even some progressive bands like The Contortionist. These were a lot of bands that had a big part in what we were trying to go for while being original to the sound that we hold true to ourselves. I spent a lot of time trying to do a lot of different guitar techniques, exploring a lot of finger picking and a lot of tapping, um, more rhythmic aspects of guitar playing that I wasn't doing as much on the first record. Second verse, yeah. Uh -oh. Beginning of 2017, you know, we had been doing a lot. We were playing shows, recorded a music video for The Greater Sun. We had really been on a roll and then as we were in the process of trying to write all these songs for Travel Globe, I just kind of lost myself in my personal life. So I, I left the band for I think about five, six months. They had done a you know a couple tryouts for the vocalists and, and I was getting really drawn to still be a part of Body Thief. So after you know a couple months of us just talking and figuring everything out, we came to the conclusion that we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, we're gonna keep our unit and they added Andreas while I was gone which was you asked me the best choice that could have ever been made. Life has taken me on a crazy journey, and I wholeheartedly feel like there's something so big inside of body Keep that I should be a part of, that we should not continue without a core group. Oh, 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 yes, we come in and we're all fun and games. Dirty D's back! Yeah, how was it working with Will Beasley? Ah, uh, Will Beasley. <laughs> Recording with Will was the best possible experience ever. He co-produced our last record, Speaking Hibernation. We know how professional and how much of a homie he was to us, which made it really easy and relaxed for us to be able to get in there and get work done. What it do? In a way. Recording vocals with him was, was a very special thing for me. There were times that, you know, we would kick everybody out and turn all the lights down low, put on some mood lighting, and it would just be me and Will, like, late night, just tracking these songs. Yeah. 
Good luck, That's my true. friend. Yeah. We're going to lock you in now, okay? Pretty cool. Andres, do the honors. Lock him in. Oh. All right, you're not getting out till you're done. You scared, buddy? Who just got here, G? Walter Mana. Walter Mana. Don't look into the don't look at the monitor. You have to look into the camera. Hey, thanks for watching. We're so excited to release Travel Glow on March 1st. <laughs>